Hello everyone, welcome to my bathroom on Friday 28th of April. It is the last few days of the Magical Weird Dog Spring Equinox and I just quickly wanted to film this intro because I'm gonna do a small reading vlog on this last weekend of the Spring Equinox because I still have eight books to read. <laughs> which sounds very ambitious, is very ambitious, but it's still very attainable. I wanted to read 14 books this spring equinox. I was lying reading all the prompts, at least for this one, and then later in the year, the magical readings are mostly, I'm not gonna do all the prompts, but I've only read six books so far. However, I do need to say I still read a lot because I read chunks of these books as well, which is why it is still attainable. I only have, or oh, I've got nothing planned this weekend. I've got today, tomorrow, and Sunday, the complete days, just to do my own thing, read, cuddle the cat, which is also why the plants are in the bathtub, because the cat couldn't eat them. And obviously, I didn't see her for the entire week, because we went on a small holiday last week, and I didn't read as much as I expected, mostly because we also had small children with us, which is obviously not the peace and quiet you need for reading. Anyways, I just quickly wanted to make this intro to show you guys the books that I still need to read. So the challenge that I'm going up, which is these books. And let's immediately start it off with the books that are probably gonna be most challenging, which are the three bigger ones. However, I've started all of them already. So the first one is A Color of Fire by Ken Follett, which obviously sounds ridiculous as a choice for a reading challenge in which you need to read 14 books. However, because uh, it's 900 pages, however, I'm already very far in. Because this is my, my audiobook of choice. So I only have 200 pages left. Listen to this on audiobook, like this one, definitely gonna be able to do it. Other one is Flowers in the Attic by V.C. Andrews, and I'm halfway through. I've been physically reading this most of the reading month, or a few weeks ago before I went and left. However, I kind of let kind of stepped aside from it. I'm not enjoying it as much as I was expecting, but I also have an audiobook for this. So if I am able to go quickly through A Column of Fire, uh, I might pick the audiobook up from this. And then the biggest challenge for this weekend is Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Gabriel Zephyr, which I literally have only read like 10 pages of. So far, very impressed, but I mean, obviously, that's gonna be a challenge. So this is gonna be the main read of the weekend. Then we've got some smaller books. One also have already been reading The Dangers of Smoking in Bed by Marina Enriquez, which I'm this far in, so hopefully I can get through it today because I am very much enjoying it. Then we've got some books that I've not touched yet. We've got Winter in Socho by Elisa Shua Dusapin. Already read a little bit of that as well. And this is a very, it's not only a small book, but also the formatting is fairly small. So very curious for this. Then we've got uh, The Honest Finder by Lisa Spitt, which is a small Dutch book. And we've got On the Shortest of Life by Seneca, which I've also read uh, a bit from already. And then last but not least, we've got The Golden Compass, the graphic novel volume one, which I have also already been reading. So most of these I have already started, if not almost finished. So there's definitely finished. I hope to finish some things today, but yes, I'm just gonna take you along in this, um, epic reading weekend, um, which is just me enjoying my house again, being home again, enjoying my cat, super cuddling my cat because I've missed her, and enjoying the peace and quiet of reading. So yes. Hello, it's Saturday. I wanted to give a short update. I've been reading like hell yesterday and today. I've been doing so good. I finished The Eerlijk of Finland on the Spine by Lisa Spit, which I really, really enjoyed. This was the Big Week gift of the Dutch Big Week this year and is about a 
family of refugees uh, from Kosovo that live in Belgium, but they are forced to go back to Kosovo and they take a very risky, they make a very risky decision to try and stay. And this is a very interesting, beautiful story. It's about childhood and children's friendships and the purity of children in making relationships and meeting new people. And But it's also about the refugee crisis and, you know, what the impact of a societal structure can be on families and people's lives. Uh, really, really enjoyed this. I've also been... Oh, did I move you? I might have moved you. But too enthusiastic. I've also read, listened a lot of A Column of Fire by uh, Ken Follett. I'm definitely going to be able to finish this today. I'm at page 806. Really enjoying this. I do need to say this is a lot different than the two previous books, which is The Pillars of the Earth and World Without End, which I very much like. I loved The Pillars of the Earth and I mean, I'm not done yet, but I can definitely say that's by far my favourite in the trilogy. Uh, but I do need to say after reading World Without End, even though I really enjoyed that as well, it did feel like too much of the same for me. I was like, I'm not sure this was really, I don't know, needed or anything. So I like that this is a lot different. It's also about Queen Elizabeth and Mary, Queen of Scots. So they're just interesting uh, characters in history. So very much enjoying this as well. Then I'm reading The Danger of Smoking Bed. I'm halfway through it, very much enjoying it. Just horror stories. Definitely gonna be able to finish this today. And also kind of dipped into Tomorrow and Tomorrow and Tomorrow. I couldn't sleep last night. And I thought, okay, let me just read a few pages. So I read like the first 30 pages or so. Really loved it. Really, really loved it. Like, I think this is going to be an amazing book. And I'm really looking forward on diving into this more. So I'm probably going to do that tonight. Because tonight I'm home alone. My boyfriend's got a soccer match or he's going to a soccer match. I do, I am also planning on playing a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. But again, I'm probably going to just spend most of my time reading. So that's the update for now. It's just an easy place to film for me and also we got some new plants today like one over here which is gorgeous and one here which you can see in the mirror I see now so it's a little bit more botanical in here and actually we got inspired by this because when we got home from our holiday we had all the plants in here to uh, keep them locked away from our cat and I saw it and I was like the plants look so good with the color scheme and like now we got some plans. Anyways, it's a little bit later on Saturday and I just wanted to give an update. I finished A Column of Fire by Ken Follett. Really, really enjoyed it. I feel like it contains a lot more of historic events, a lot more than the other two books, or maybe it's just more historic events that I'm aware of, that I'm familiar with, because obviously I'm not from the UK. But I mean, we ended it off even with the Guy Fox event. And yeah, it's just... I really, really enjoyed it. I really love these books and it always comes to an, a really nice ending and it all comes together and it's all explained and every storyline is concluded. So yeah, very happy that I read it and finished it. And I've actually also finished The Dangers of Smoking in Bed by Mariana Enriquez. And I again also really, really enjoyed this. This is such a creepy story collection. Like the horror stories on this are absolutely insane. They almost feel like the old kind of horror stories you would tell at a campfire with your classmates, only a lot more horrific and severe. But I really enjoyed this. So yeah, I finished two more books. I still got the night ahead of me, although I might want to play a little bit of Hogwarts Legacy. But yeah, so far so good.
Sunday morning small reading update. I finished on the shortness of life. Life is long if you know how to use it by Seneca. And to be honest, <laughs> I didn't really like it. It just felt like for me, I don't know what I had expected of it, but it just felt like in Dutch we would say uh, het intrappen van open deuren. It's stating the obvious, like it's just full of the kind of obvious statements on how you should appreciate life and life isn't really short, but you should just use it wisely and not get soaked into uh, work or things like that and in the end of your life think like damn it just flew by and i didn't do what i wanted to do it, it also refers to people you know waiting for their retirement and to do fun things at that age uh, however you are not guaranteed to even reach that age and not to die tomorrow and then it is a complete waste of the time that you did have yeah i mean it's short it is stating the obvious it could i think some people might really really love it for me again i don't know what i expected of it but it was just it was okay so now i'm very much enjoying tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow really really loving it and i think i'm gonna pick her up uh winter in such show now Quick update, I finished Flowers in the Attic. I mean, this was not it. I can I don't even know what to say about it. Disappointing. Just check my wrap up. Not it. Okay, it is evening. I'm in my pajamas. I am on my little reading couch. I literally just want to close this off. I've had such an intense reading weekend. Like, I've probably never read as much in this, in any weekend as I did in this. But it was so nice. I just read some very good books. And also, it was really good having like the interchange of different books and reading books and listening to audiobooks while playing uh, my Nintendo Switch. So that worked phenomenally. I just want to lightly touch upon the final books that I've just finished. And I'm just going to refer you to my reading wrap-up because I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely done. But yeah, really read some awesome books in April and had a very successful Spring Equinox. Anyway, so I finished Winter and Start Show. I mean, again, this cover is just amazing really really enjoyed this It's very slow it's not really plot driven it's really more about the vibe and it's really nice that it takes place in south korea Sochi, which is very near the border of north korea it just has some interesting things that it discusses really enjoyed that tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow i'm not even gonna say that too much about this but this i mean i know i said that remarkably bright creatures was probably going to be the best book of the year for me this uh and you know what? I would say it's probably in my top five best books ever. I love this. And again, the cover, amazing, but just absolutely amazing. And then finally, I've also finished The Golden Compass. It's a picture. The Golden Compass, the graphic novel. Also really enjoyed that. I don't do need to say that the illustrations weren't always amazing, like specifically how people were illustrated. I thought it was a little bit simple, but overall very much enjoyed that as well so yeah great reading finalization and we'll get back to you in my reading wrap up but yeah i just had an amazing reading weekend i'll see you next time